Shalom Makyam, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakapadash. Double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone who teach and rule well. And Shalom to the sincere Akyam to bring his truth and sincerity. Shalom. In this video, I want to talk about um, someone that I encountered a couple of days ago. I, I encountered this uh, this female uh, during my job on, on Friday. I, I encountered her while I was working at her house, and I came to find out that um, you know she might be an Israelite man. And y'all might be thinking like, "Oh yeah, cool cat, whatever." But this goes, you know, into Isaiah chapter 11. Man. This goes into how the Heavenly Father. Is going to bring back his people from all over the world, from all these different nations, man, looking like the heathen nations. And um, so, as I was working at her house, it had to do with a kitchen cabinet, you know, the one that can uh, spin around. And um, you know, she looked like a Elamite, you know, um, a Hindu, a Hindu female, you know, with her, uh, you know, Hindu, you know, looking uh, husband and her, uh, you know, Hindu mother you know her, her, her mother and she were, were the ones that were, were present at that time and uh, you know it, it came to the conversation you know that um, that her mother dealt you know with someone from Italy and that he died you know this then the third and I, I wasn't really you know paying too much attention to it because the woman you know that I uh, that I was hired by Basically, I was hired by her husband, but she was present at that moment. The, um, that woman, she looked straight up Elam. She looked straight up like an Elamite. You know, someone that is uh, Hindustani looking, right? So I wasn't even thinking about, yeah, you know, that might be her father. But then the conversation continued. And then I came to find out that her father... That her father was the one that was Italian and that he was from southern Italy. If I remember correctly, it was either Sardinia or Sicily. Either one, I don't remember which one, but it was one of those two. And then I was like, oh really? Okay. And why am I, you know, saying that? Because the southern parts of Italy, you know, were conquered you know, by the Moors. And the Moors, you know, were Israelites. You know, Dark-skinned people, you know, who converted to Islam. And then they had, a, you know, a conquest in which they, you know, conquered lands, you know, nations, you know, dest uh, destroyed and slaughtered the men, you know, and took the females and laid down with them and beget children by them. So, in this day and age, you know, a lot of people, you know, that are Italian, that are from the south, Sicily, Sardinia, have a high possibility to be an Israelite, you know. So, when this woman, you know, spoke to me about her father being an Italian guy, I asked her the question, so did you have a good relationship with your father? And she said, yeah, the thing was is that he wasn't really there, he wasn't really there present. He wasn't really the, the family type of person. And then I was like, okay, so that's the curses of Deuteronomy. You know, around verse 54, if I'm correct in paraphrasing it from my mind, you know, where it, it basically talks about that the household of Jake you know, would, would not really be together, right? That the man would leave the house, you know, would leave his wife and his children, you know, and there would be hatred towards, you know, the wife of his bosom and the one that he basically loved and dealt with. You see, so that, that, that did show me in a way, like, hey, there's an even higher possibility that she could be Jake. And one of the things that I often notice is uh, the mannerism and the, uh, 
how you say that. Like, like it, it has to do with the discernment of the spirit, right? So you can you, you can kind of see and tell, you know, what a person his intentions are. You know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shemir Hashem, whether they are prideful, whether they have a soft spirit, whether they are, you know, uh, kind of genuine, you know, things like that. And the vibe that I receive from, you know, both, uh, uh, both the woman and her mother, you know, were very gentle spirits, but truth be told, I do think that the mother, you know, was in fact a uh, Hindu, even though their family on the mother's side dealt with all other nations and not necessarily with their own kind, you know, didn't really de deal with, with, with Elam. And I told the woman, like, hey, that, that's, that's uncommon, that's unheard of, that doesn't really happen that much. You often see Elam with Elam or Elam, you know, with Esau or Esau looking people. You know? But that was like, nah, the thing that we stand for, and that's something that the mother was raised, uh, raised uh, uh, like by her parents, um, was, um, you know, as long as you're happy and you love the person that you're dealing with. But yet, that's basically uh, not really important. But the woman, the woman, she could be a, she could be an Israelite man, you know, pertaining to her father and the information that I received of her father, you see. Then, she started to talk about her children, saying that her children, you know, do MMA, you know, I started to talk about my daughter, this, then the third, you know, the kind of sports that I want to, you know, uh, make my daughter uh, eventually, you know, play when she's old enough. You know, if this kingdom persists, um, you know, then we came to uh, to the mixed martial arts and the fighting. She told me that her her son, that her son basically is, is is kickboxing, right? He's doing some martial arts, and she said that they're noticing him, and that he is he's talented and that that he's very good. So then I was like, hmm, okay, you know, if he's like Elam. That doesn't really happen like that, right? You know, of course, you might have the the mighty man of Elam, you know, amongst them. But we know that Jake is is, is the salt of the earth. They excel, man, with, with whatever they put their hand towards. And then she said that her husband doesn't really look like Elam neither, even though, you know, his parents are straight up Elam, according to the appearance. Then. She said, like, you know, he looks more Negroid. You know, he looks more like a so-called Negro in his features than that he looks like, uh, like, like Elam. But then she showed me the pictures. Of course, he was a little bit on the thicker. Let me say like that. He was on the fat side, but he had a thick nose, man. Like a big-ass nose, man. Like, you know, a, a Negroid type of nose. So... With all that being done and said, you know, you have, amongst these other nations, you have Jakes out there too, man. You know, looking like these heathen nations, you know. Which, generation upon, upon generation, you know, these ain't gonna look like your typical Israelites, man. They're gonna look like the heathens, man. You know what I mean? So you're gonna have, you know, your Israelites you know, looking like Esau, you know, looking like Moab, looking like Elam, looking like uh, like the Arabs, man, looking like Ishmael, you see? So this is Isaiah chapter 11 and verse 11. And it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord Yahweh shall set his hand again the second time to recover the remnant of his people, which shall be left from Assyria and from Egypt and from Pathros and from Cush and from Elam and from Shinar, and from Hamath, and from the islands of the sea. So the Heavenly Father is going to gather His people, you know, from all the four corners of the earth, man. And the reason I pulled this scripture is because of Elam. You know, the Elamites. You know, in this day and age, the Elamites, you know, are the Iranian people, people from India, Pakistan, Sri Lanka, the Hindus from Suriname, you know. Those are the, 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 the modern-day Elamites, man. And 
The Heavenly Father is going to gather his people from the four corners of the earth, man. You know why? Because we are scattered among these nations, man. Like it says in Tobit, man, confess him before the Gentiles because, you know, he has uh, basically scattered us among them. You see? Verse 12, And he shall set up an ensign for the nations and shall assemble the outcasts of Israel and gather together the dispersed of Judah from the four corners of the earth. You see? So the outcasts of Israel and the dispersed of Judah, man. So the Heavenly Father is going to, you know, gather all the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel and bring them back in their own land, man. You see? That is going to happen, man. And our people are waking up to this truth. Whether they like it or not, man. You know, a while ago, I was also working at this, you know, Elamite-looking guy, his house. But he himself, he was, you know, fully dedicated with the Bible, man. You know? And our people, they have a zeal, but not according to knowledge, man. They are so fervent in, in, in what they... What they want to worship, you know, and more often than not, our people, more often than not, a I'm 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 saying more often than not, I'm not saying all the time, but more often than not, our people, you know, they tend to uh, worship, you know, uh, uh, the God of the Bible, man. Of course, you also have those that you know are down with, um, with the Quran, you know, that are down with uh, with the Bhagavad Gita, you know, from Elam. You know, but more often than not, that has to do with the way that they're raised, man. But this man, he said that he 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 was full on for the for the, for the scriptures, man. Because that's dope to hear, man. Are people, you know, uh, uh, um, desiring, you know, um, the Bible, man? Even though that they're doing it in 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 not the right way, it does show you, like, hey, these people, you know, they have that uh, that zeal, man. You know. But yeah, I digress a little bit. You know, Yarrow Tazad, this video was edifying. And with that, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakakudash. Double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone, who teach and rule well. And Shalom to the sincere Akyam, spread truth and sincerity. Shalom.